All right, so one of the big focuses of Resist Hate has been uh, organizing for immigrant rights, and so we've got a few folks who are going to give an update on some priorities there and, and, and what needs to happen. Good afternoon, everybody. I love the energy. Uh, my name is Travis Escobar. I'm the co-founder and president for the Millennial Professional Group of Rhode Island. Born and raised in the south side of Providence, and I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna keep this long. I'm gonna say a couple of things. Um, one of my big focuses, what and what made me want to invest in community engagement was when I was going into college. When I was when I was got accepted from Rhode Island College, uh, a couple of my high school buddies, uh, best friends, I realized they couldn't enter into college um, because they were undocumented at the time and they had financial barriers. Um, it was really eye-opening for me as, a, as someone that was really entering into this next phase of my life that two of my best buddies couldn't come with me. Um, and they, were, they are just as American as you are, are, are myself. And I think one thing I want to talk about is the Free College Rhode Island proposal that is um, coming up from the, from the governor. I know Representative Regenberg is a big supporter of free college, and right now there is this uh, debate between tax cuts and investing in education. And if there is one thing I can preach to everyone in this room is to call your representative and to let them know that yes, we want to invest in education for our future workforce. Yes, for Because we all know that Rhode Island College students, CCRI students, URI students, they stay in the state. And if we can have a workforce where they're not, in, they're not throwing away hundreds of dollars to the top 1%, but they're keeping it right here in Rhode Island so they can buy a home, so they can save for their retirement, so they can potentially help out their parents, I think that is important. So I really urge you all to really contact your representatives about Free College Rhode Island. Um, another thing that I would like to mention about immigration is that the Rhode Island Hispanic Bar Association, uh, an organization that is on the board for the Millennial Professional Group of Rhode Island, uh, Dione Garcia, uh, he's out there right now at City Hall in Providence registering hundreds of individuals who are looking to become citizens here of the United States. They have a fundraiser on Monday. You can find them on Facebook. And if you can find to either, either volunteer your time or donate some of your money, they've been doing a lot of great work working with Dorkins International and other community organi organizations so they can actually get a lot of our residents, a lot of people that we need here to stay in, in this country. What's the group? Rhode Island Hispanic Bar Association. Thank you. Rebuff is their acronym. So. I really want to thank Representative Regenberg and the organizers for giving me some time to come up here and speak to all of you, but please contact your representatives. I know we're focusing a lot on President Trump, but there are a lot of policies that we need to focus on here in Rhode Island um, that are promoting a lot of those Trump policies. So please, contact your representatives, run for office, please. Um, Door knock and just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.